Hey guys, it's Cardfan101 here, and welcome back to another tutorial review. And today, I'm going to be doing some Crash Link review. So before I get started, just another announcement. And this announcement is because I just like I made a review on these like a couple weeks ago. And I uploaded it not knowing that it was too long, so YouTube rejected it. And I wasn't, I didn't activate my um, channel yet, so I did that, don't worry. Um, I activated my channel already, um, but I decided to just make a new, whole new video. So now, um, these are all unpackaged, and I know what's inside, which is kind of boring. Um, but yeah, so, like in that video, they were all, um, like still unopened and packaged, but sadly that video I deleted because I didn't want to um, bother you guys with the long video, so I'm decided to try to make this video shorter or this video review shorter. So anyway, let's get started. So basically, well, I don't have the thing anymore, the wrapping around these, um, but basically it just said crash thing and then what type of creature or what kind of uh, figure we're going to get inside, like the um, categories. So there was, um, I believe, dino, sea life, um, insects, aliens, and what's this one? Check off camera real quick. Black one was or is uh, monsters. There you go, monsters. So that is the one, the black one. Um, so yeah, just close it back up. So you have dino, aliens, insects, sea life, and dinos. So yeah. Um, and then it just showed the age and stuff like that. And the copyright and the people who made it. And yeah, so anyway, enough with my chat. Let's get on to the dinos one. Okay, here guys. So here's the dino one. So like I said, um, I do know what's inside. Uh, so yeah. Um, but anyway, let me open this. Um, yeah, so, a little backstory, sorry for that, um, blackout, or that shortage thing, but anyway, so for background track thingy, so basically, crashings are a minifigure, um, minifigure, blind box, blind bag thingy, kind of, blind, well, in this case, blind ball kind of thingy kind of just like trash pack but the crashlings are much harder um so they're not squishy like trash pack or um squinkies i think that they were called um but yeah so and plus the top and these crashlings the top um in the one pack single pack blind bot things um the top each top is rubber or is these kind of popper kind of things and then um they also have like five packs and ten packs, but you only you don't all, not all of the crashling containers are um, have the popper. So only the single pack one ball thing, one ball blind ball, um, one has each one has the top. Hope that made sense. Um, but anyway, so the top is like stretch kind of thing, and the bottom is plastic. Um, so let me close that up. Put that off to the side. So here we have the figure, this is Dino, so you have this blue dinosaur, let me try to focus, there you go, sorry for my fingers, but anyway, here's Dino, so you have a spike all over its back, right there, black spikes, um, he's blue overall, and he has a tail in the back, and there's the face, kind of like a weird face. He has his eyes in different directions. And at the bottom, just like trash pack, it's top. It's a topper for your pencil. So yeah. So there's the first one. 
Um, you also get a checklist in each one. Okay, so in the back you get like it's called Crash Astronomy. Um, gameplay, so you can have these three games. Um, so yeah, you can like read that if you want. Pause and read. And this one. So there's other games, and then um, series one. Over on the you collect the the packaging around the boss is kind of like this part right here. Um, but anyway, so as you can see, it says Dino. This is the Crash Astronomy charts. And you get all these figures. The, um, the what's that called? The bar, whatever that like, shows you what's special, rare, rare, and stuff like that. And the other stuff, down, the other categories. And you also have the website. And yeah, so this one is, if I can find it, it was number 7, Orbit War, and you see that orange, it's orange ring around, so this is a common. Um, yeah, so, there's the first one, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next one up is going to be Monsters, um, so yeah, so... This is actually the one that surprised me the most because it actually has a rare inside. Um, sorry for the spoil, but yeah. So same thing, plastic rubbery type top for the popper, and then the plastic bottom. As you can see there, it just popped out. The rare figure, so this is gold, and I'll tell you why it's golden in a second. But as you can see here, here's the popper again. Here's your checklist. So same, same um, what's it called? Game on games on the back. So the same kind of games. Um, series one still, and this time the monster category. Um, and this purse or figure is number one ten. Right there, Bigfoot Dipper. Um, let's see that, Bigfoot Dipper, one ten, and you see that purple ring around. This means it's a special edition. Um, it's not rare, but special edition. So yeah, special edition, pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that one pretty much surprised me a lot. Um, anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next up is Sea Life. Here, so this comes in a blue um, meteor, meteor. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, so rubber top, plastic bottom, or plastic top, rubber bottom, whatever you want to say. Um, oh yeah, I didn't really actually show you guys the outside that much, that in detail. So here it is. Here's the thing, and it turns all the way around. Basically, um, the tops and bottom are both the same. They're smeared, and yeah, so so this figure is actually weird kind of looking. It kind of looks like a human kind of face, like a human kind of face. Um, no offense, but yeah, so this is like a pirate kind of thing. Um, don't know like the actual fish, but yeah, it says on the checklist it's like a starfish pirate, whatever. Um, don't see how it's a starfish, but yeah, something like that. Again, same backing for um, games, and then here's the sea life. Here, like focus. Um, and this one is number 121, star pirate, right there. Kind of like a star pirate, starfish, whatever. And that is a common. So yeah, let's move on. Second to last is Aliens, which comes in a green crash link, or meteor, I mean. Um, so let's open this. This guy is actually, this kind of guy kind of looks like the monster from Ugly Monsters or whatever. That Nickelodeon TV show.
show or whatever. I can't remember the exact name. But yeah, so here's the figure. Focus on thing right in front of you, not the things behind you. There you go. Um, so yeah, three eyes, two horns, little fuzz at the top, his head in the back. And yeah, pretty nice guy. Pretty cool guy. Cool, pretty cool looking guy. Um, so here's the thing. Let me get his name. If I can. So this is right there. Again, so basically all these figures I got in these blind balls of each category is all rare except the, the monsters one which I got a special edition which is pretty cool. Um, yeah so there's that. Let's go on to the final figure. And last but not least is the insect one. So this comes in a red meteor. So don't know why they chose red. I don't know, insect category. Um, but yeah, so, and speaking of ladybugs, look what I got. A ladybug, a blue ladybug. Um, so, apparently, there's ladybugs in outer space. There's, I mean, ladybugs on crashlings, or inside crashlings, I mean, or meteors. Oops, major mix up right there. Um, but yeah, here's the figure. Focus, there's the face, here's the top, here's the bottom, the tops. Um, so, all these have the top, the hole on the bottom for your pencil. Um, yeah, so let me get this out of here and show you guys the front because the back is the same thing. Insect, and this is number, you can focus, 39 Lunar Rock. Well, or no, Lunar Luck, not Rock. So, it doesn't say it's a ladybug, but just saying it looks like a ladybug. And that is a common. So like I said, all commons for all the blind buzz I got. And yeah, so, let me close this up and end the video. There you go, guys. There is my review on the Crashlings Series 1 um, one pack blind balls, or so you can say. Um, review. One more thing I just want to do before I end the video is I want to pop some of these for you guys. So I'm just going to pop this gray one a couple of times because it's the nearest one to me. Um, but anyway, so if you guys don't know what poppers are or how to play it or use it, just basically you just press the middle inside like that. Then you can like pinch it like that anyway to like hold it until you let go. So just go like that, press it on the ground. Actually fix the camera angle real quick. There you go. So pop it. Squeeze it, put it on the ground, and boom, pops like that. So that, like it says, um, you can pop up to four feet. These can pop up to four feet, so that's pretty tall. If you're a little kid, you can think about how it can pop over you if you're three, four foot and under, four feet and under. I mean, um, but yeah, um, note taken that. Or no, no expected, or I want to say. Um, when you first like get these, be aware, be aware that these are like, like really tough to go like that, and then um, drop it down, and then wait for it to explode. Because right when you, sorry, let me go get it. Quick. There you go. Um, so right when you get it, or um, package it, and you try doing it, it's gonna like. When you flip like that, it's just gonna pop out like immediately. So you get, you gotta just keep playing around with it, keep flinging it back and forth, and you should be good. So that's what I did for my meteors, and 
that's how I got to work. So let me pop it again. Let's see. Still kind of pops really fast, but it's really hard to pinch it. Come on, let me end the video with this. We just did this. Um, but anyway, there you go, guys. So, there's my review on the Crash Link Series 1 Meteors. So, yeah, so, if you guys have any questions for this review or any other item I have reviewed, you could comment down below and I can try my best to answer them. So, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe, rate, like, and comment. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.